Well, it's time for the No Dunks holiday tradition. Here we go. Yes! It's the Hallmark Islamic catalog! What is that? You might ask. I mean, a lot of you know. I teased this on Twitter last night. Man, the response was crazy. People were hyped for this return. Dude, I'm excited. Of the <laughs> Hamaka Schlemmer catalog. Uh, here's what it is. The Hamaka Schlemmer catalog is America's longest running catalog, offering the best, the only, and the unexpected since 1848. Yeah, you heard me. 1848. The company provides unique products for uh, the most ridiculous costs. It's pure insanity, <laughs> this magazine. Now, usually, I'm sitting here as we get closer to Christmas with the Hamaka Schlemmer catalog in my hand. I'm slapping it. I'm dog in those pages. I'm flipping through it. But you can see Santa Skeets' hands are empty. Because <laughs> the Hamaka Schlemmer catalog let me down this year. Uh, uh. They didn't send me a catalog. And guys, I was on it. I'm talking like six weeks ago i'm like you know emailing them where's my catalog yeah i okay, three weeks after that i'm tweeting at them where's my catalog what's going on do you guys not produce these anymore have we gone digital that's it but like no no response no response crickets and they they once sent me a yoda lamp i know it's right there because i was the only person talking about this fucking magazine <laughs> magazine i read it for the article catalog. personally yeah um, but I, so I'm, a, I'm a little i'm a little pissed i actually do read it for the uh, or, or, uh, yeah. um but anyway i powered through i did it online it wasn't as fun i wish i could be hitting it here in my hand showing you and ripping the pages out but it is what it is i don't know what's going on with the hamaka slamma catalog but anyway um I have gifts for everybody. I mean, you guys and, and Ash and Jerome and Tassie. Um, the fun in this is, of course, the weird things I pick and the descriptions. But also, you guys have to guess the price of these items. Price is right rules. That's what we're doing here. Yeah. Okay, can't go over. Um, I also added a new wrinkle this year. I threw in some customer reviews. Oh. That's the one good thing about the online edition. Um, right. So that I thought that might help you in, co in coming to a price for. Okay. For the items. That's great. Uh, yeah. Reading customer reviews, an underrated part of the holiday season. I mean, I, I've said this before. I want to do an entire podcast series, like a whole spinoff of like just hilarious reviews oh, for things. Sure. Reviews are good. Uh, okay. First uh, item, JD. You like music, right? I love music. <laughs> what are you, Grant Hill? <laughs> well, JD, I am getting you the Guitar Lover's Vertical Turntable. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the wall-mounted turntable that signals one's love for music, as well as the beauty of acoustic guitars. Wow. Ideal for those who appreciate the audio artistry of Keith Richards, Eric Clapton, <laughs> George Harrison, or Jimi Hendrix. The turntable features a vintage wood grain design, as well as decorative decor of frets and pegs similar to those found on a classic six string guitar okay. what, do you, what do you think here jd i love it i think it's cool this can play your 33s your 45s and your 78s well my 78s <laughs> yeah. i can dust those off and yep. bring them up and uh the record player can also function as an external bluetooth speaker what yeah okay so that's sort of fun isn't it it I'm is those like the black dots that are on the body i'm guessing are the speakers probably i think so i think yeah. so yeah okay yeah. cool and um <laughs> i've got a review here from jacques <laughs> this guitar turntable is awesome quality is amazing and it exceeded all expectations <laughs> upon arrival. And Jacques actually, I, I forgot to grab it, but shared a photo from his home. Ooh. And this thing was prominently featured in his living room, As right beside be. the TV. Yes. And there was like a Titans game on. <laughs> made me laugh. Oh, Tennessee Got it. I should have grabbed the photo. <laughs> Jacques. Anyway. Jacques loves it. Jacques has five stars. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, gentlemen. Uh, and JD, you're getting this gift. How much did I spend on this Ooh. for you, JD? Uh, because it's your gift, JD, you go first. Uh, I love it, Skeets. I just want to say good, good. it's weird that it's an acoustic guitar, but the while well, there's electronics in it, a yeah, which yeah. isn't that weird, I suppose. But there's kind of a whammy bar is the is the arm for the for the record, you know? Yeah, like I would almost it's like odd. to see uh, Scratch Bastard uh, pick this up and like, yeah. 
play the guitar, but also scratch the record. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, that would be awesome. That'd be sick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into it. Uh, I, I'm gonna put me down for two ninety nine. Okay. Two ninety nine. Man, that's a good. Price. I, I'm gonna give you guys uh, a reminder that. The Hamaker Slumber catalog always likes to go with 95 cents. Okay, so, so 2 95 Yes, okay. <laughs> why? We don't know. We don't know why they do that. But we don't deal in pennies anymore, that's why. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, all right, so $2.99.95. Um, I guess really higher or lower is or wherever you want to go. <laughs> I can't stop thinking of uh, a DJ using this as if it were a keytar. <laughs> Yeah, man. That's really, that's a great idea. <laughs> I'm gonna go a little bit higher. Uh, the Hamaker Premium. Give me three forty nine ninety five. This might be a first. No. I don't know if anyone's ever absolutely nailed it. Trey Kirby. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas miracle! <laughs> We've been doing this for years. I don't think anyone's ever absolutely nailed it. Three forty nine ninety five. To the penny, to the or penny. to the nickel, I guess. <laughs> to the nickel. I mean, I helped him out. I helped both of you out with that. But anyway, oh, that would have been. I'm glad I said that. Trey, he may have gone three forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, would have lost four cents <laughs> off. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, that, mean, right. that means I get JD's gift and my gift. According <laughs> to Bob Barker's that's, rules. That's true. What a start to the Hamaka Slamma catalog. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, next one, the uh, RC Mouse Catching Anaconda. What? Yeah, you heard me. This, this is one, for me? No, this is going to Esh. Mm. Now, here's my thinking. <laughs> Esh has a lot of kids. And this is a fun toy that two of your children can play with at the same time. Let me explain. This is the set of remote-controlled animals that encourages a pair of siblings or friends to engage in an action-packed game of chase. One takes control of the slithering anaconda, while the other operates the tiny mouse trying to evade capture. Okay. Okay, so the body of the snake there, that like, that squirm side to side on the 10 wheels, mm -hmm. it goes like, you know, whatever, yeah. forward, left, right, the tongue comes out, I don't know. And then meanwhile, the mouse is like scampering around the floor, spinning around, doing abrupt stumps and stuff like that. <laughs> okay? The cheese okay. Well, the cheese is the, the cheese remote. The cheese is the remote, and then the other... Is like a rock, I think. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, one, yeah. you gotta have a remote for both. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Two remotes. Two that player game. Okay, great. Two right? player game, yeah, that's cool. Um, Guys, reviews are mixed. Okay. <laughs> I got two reviews on this one. One for the snake, one for the mouse. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> David writes, the snake is great. We bought it for our grandsons, and now I want one for me. Wow. Grandpa David <laughs> saw the fun these kids were having. His grandkids were having. Five stars, says David. Okay. Okay, hold on. Tina. <laughs> Tina, less than impressed. I bought this for my nine-year-old boy. The mm. anaconda does not handle well. And it does nothing. <laughs> it does nothing if it catches the mouse. This is my favorite part. The mouse handles well. The cat loved it. A bit expensive for a cat toy. <laughs> two, yeah. stars, two stars. Oh, two stars. Two stars. Two stars. Two stars. She did not. Tina did not like how the anaconda handles. Okay. <laughs> and I think her biggest beef is like, well, it doesn't. I mean, you know, how what do you, how do you want? Do you snapping win jaws. Yeah, she it. wants. She wants. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't do anything. And swallow it, and <laughs> then right. put it and go down the body, and I guess <laughs> shit it out. I don't know. <laughs> Which do button anything. unhinges its jaw? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't do anything. Yeah. So, so David loves it. Tina doesn't. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's start with Trey here. This is going to Ash. I think his kids would love this. And uh, what do you what do you got for the the price here, Trey Kirby? Uh, can I ask the materials? Oh this? god! <laughs> I mean, no. Well, it's like use it on the sentence in a spelling bee. Well, I think they're just is that plastic? plastic. Yeah. I mean, the it, remote looks like it's made out of uh, an inflatable bag. Yeah. That looks weird. To yeah. Me. It also looks like. Um, a Sega controller. I yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly like it. Okay, so I was uh, recently at Walmart shopping for gifts, and I saw that a Fast and Furious remote control car, uh, Dom Toretto's Charger, <laughs> mm -hmm. branded and everything, $67. And that thing was pretty big. Okay. Now you're getting two <laughs> remote controlled animals, sure. I guess, here. Point. So yeah. I'm going to go. And don't forget the Hamaka Slimma Premium. Hamaka That's Premium. Right. <laughs> I'll go $79.95. Okay. 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 JD? Um, now, the review, the bad review said it was expensive. <laughs> a bit expensive for, for a, a cat, cat toy. toy. A cat toy should be like five bucks, though. You're right. You're right. <laughs> um, put me down for $49.95. Oh, I thought we were going to have our second oh. absolute perfect call. JD wins. 
59 ah, 95 you guys were in the ballpark okay one of you uh, you were the you were the mouse in this one you're the snake a little behind okay next one let's keep it going this is for jerome <laughs> i don't really know why but i thought jerome might just like to hang this in his house uh or in his apartment <laughs> this is the prismatic hyper tunnel light show mirror now right now I'm just showing you a wall-mounted mirror. Mm -hmm. But, go to the next slide, JD. This creates an Whoa. optical illusion of an endless tunnel of light. The 3D mirror has 330 <laughs> built-in LEDs that produce various colors and over 300 light shows. Look how trippy this thing it's is. It's very it's trippy. Interesting. Now, the mirror's lights can be operated by the remote that comes with it. Okay. Uh, and again, I thought maybe Jerome, he's got a cool looking place. Yeah. Loves art. He likes art. This is pretty, uh, pretty neat. <laughs> this is art. Um, we got a review from Robert. This product is very innovative. Stunning light sequences. Five stars. Okay. Well, straightforward. <laughs> Very straightforward. Robert ain't mincing words here. No, no. Oh, people are going crazy for this one, though. Yeah, That's yeah. sick. That's yeah. actually nice. It's <laughs> hey, you know nice. What? This is dope. You know what? This <laughs> is such a nice item that I saw one of the catalogs that the Hamaka Schlemma had released that I sure as hell didn't get in my mail um, had this on the front. This was wow, one of okay. the featured items. This is the cover item. <laughs> it's the cover item. Interesting. Yeah, so, wow. JD, we're going to start with you on this one. I feel like this is not as expensive to make as it looks. Okay. But I think they're, uh, Hamaker Schlemmer likes to take advantage of the old people. <laughs> How dare you? No, I, th I think they would charge uh, $199.95 for this. Wow. So yeah. $199.95. That's, yeah, that's what I'm going with. Okay. I feel like I'm off based on your reaction. I was trying to count how many digits you said there. Oh. But you said you said basically one hundred and ninety nine yeah. dollars okay. okay. and ninety five cents. Okay. <laughs> I'm loving the reviews from the stream team on this one. Oh, at first I was like, oh, wow, a mirror. Thanks. But that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking all you stoners out there. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lights up. God, man. Uh, give me ninety nine ninety five. Whoa. Oh, $100. Wow, we got, we got, yeah, it's a, it's a gap. I'm with JD. I don't think it's very expensive. LED lights, yeah, a they're... mirror. Mm -hmm. Hold on. What did you just say? You said ninety nine ninety five. Yeah. yeah. And you said one ninety nine ninety five. You guys were like, when you were talking it out, I thought you were like, yeah, this is a classic product where Hamaka Slam is just gonna crank it yeah. up. It's a fucking mirror. Like, what, right. what's the big deal? Guys, the answer, the cost, four forty nine ninety five. This is a cover <laughs> item, baby. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's too much. That's too much. But maybe it's really cool. It is cool. <laughs> it is really cool. Yeah. See, I thought, I thought when you said yours, JD, I was like, whoa, this guy's in the thousands. Okay, okay. And then no, Trey, no, when you yeah. said yours, I was like, oh, okay, maybe okay. you said a thousand. No, you guys were. Wow. You guys were way too low. Um, so who? Who won it in the end? Uh, me, well, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't go three hundred dollars at least. Okay, so uh, man, that was a mind blower. It's an yeah. expensive item. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you, like looking in the mirror. <laughs> yeah, on your mind. <laughs> That's, okay. that's too expensive. <laughs> it is too expensive. Hey, this is the hammock. Yeah, you never know. Okay, you next never one. Know. Uh, this is going to Tass. All right. Okay. The talking <laughs> robotic drawing tutor. Uh, my thinking of this going to Tass, his wife's quite an artist. Yes. And I feel like he must be envious at times. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking this robot could help Tass draw. Teach him to draw. Yeah, I don't so think Tass, true. like myself, is the greatest drawer in the world, so I think this could help. Anyway, this is the robotic tutor that provides drawing lessons using step-by-step -step verbal instructions to accompany real-time demonstrations. It's, uh, I guess, six inches by six inches, the robot. It holds onto the included pen in its two angled arms and draws according to one of 64 included cards <laughs> scanned by its robotic eye, including 24 pictures, 10 numbers, and 26 letters. Man, I really thought this right up. They were trying to sell you on this. They're like, yeah. like come on, lit robotic eye. It can um, all 26 letters? Yeah, yeah, I know. What a wow. Okay, so... My also uh, favorite part of the write-up, the robot's casual conversational tone provides easy-to-follow <laughs> instructions. Oh, it talks, too. Yeah. Oh, What's okay. up? What's up, drawing robot? Yeah. Hey, nothing, man. How you doing? <laughs> so casual. All right, ages four and up, and okay. I got a review from Janice. The product arrived in a timely manner and seems to work <laughs> good. However, the pens did not work. Therefore... I'm unable to use it. Wow. <laughs> you can't use your own pens? What did she mean here? Like, 
It seems to work good, but the pens don't work. Well, I, was... I can see it drawing, but no ink. <laughs> but I love it talking to me. It asks me, hey, how about this weather we're having? So, so cool. casual. Maybe she didn't realize they're pencils and she has to sharpen them because it's a, that is a pencil, right? Are you sure? I don't wow, know. I don't know. Um, anyway, she gave it three stars, Janice did. Whoa. Wow, that's yeah. pretty good, even though it doesn't I know. I, I think she was pretty impressed that it just arrived in a timely <laughs> manner. <laughs> Janice has always loved shipping. Yeah. Okay, so Trey, you're up first on this one. The, uh, the talking robotic drawing mm. tutor. Well, I'll say first and foremost, this doesn't work. <laughs> okay. I've bought a lot of cheap robots in my day, and they never work oh. like they're supposed to work. Well, who said it was cheap? That's a great point. That's a <laughs> this great is the point. That's a great point. Uh, I'll go seventy-four ninety-five. Okay. okay. Seventy-five okay. bucks. Wow. Okay. Yep. For, for a drawing robot. <laughs> That okay, talks. I think it's way more expensive. They just charged us five hundred dollars for <laughs> yeah, a fucking great, great mirror, call. and this is a robot that talks to you and draws. <laughs> but I'm playing it safe. I'm just gonna say eighty bucks. It's flat, <laughs> eighty bucks. Eighty bucks because I think it's more expensive, and I'm just playing. You, you want the win? I want the win. Smart here. move. Yeah. Well, smart move. You got the win. Okay. But I think you guys are gonna be quite upset. This costs one hundred forty-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, too oh. much. It's too much. <laughs> too much, especially if it doesn't work. Which it, I'm yeah. with you. It definitely doesn't. It does not work. <laughs> no. I've got a pink robot at my house that worked for like 12 minutes. <laughs> and then it went into a box, and we tried to bring it out recently, and we're like, nobody knows the controls for it. So it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 150 bucks Can't for that though. piece of shit. Yeah. Wow. That, then, wow. Hey, maybe it works. Maybe it works. Maybe we'll get it. We'll that's find out if Task can start drawing. That's yeah. the kind of gift that ends up in my house, though. <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a robot that you think is going to be sweet. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you one other gift that's going to show up in your house. And it's Let's for you, it. Trey Let's Kirby. It, it's our final gift here from the Hallmarker Slamma catalog. It's the serenading songbird wall clock. Yeah, that's right. This is the wall clock that serenades bird lovers with a different songbird at the top of each hour. The bird songs were recorded in the field by the acclaimed Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology and Ooh. include some of North America's most beloved winged vocalists, such as the Northern Cardinal. I love it. The American Robin and the Blue Jay. So you got the clock here. It's housed in a solid cherry frame. And I thought this was an interesting note. A light sensor deactivates the sounds when your room is dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So oh, it's, you don't have like birds that. going throughout the night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Linda bought this. She bought this. Oh, this is the, my favorite review. <laughs> Linda writes under the serenading songbird wall clock from the Hamacher Slumber Catalog. I bought this very clock 25 years ago, and at last it's wearing out. I'm so happy to have another one. Five stars. Wow. It so it Easy five. 25 years it lasts for. But that's. But does Linda have this exact clock from 25? I don't know. Maybe it's similar. But anyway. Um, we go to Trey Kirby, uh, with, uh, with the first guest here for your gift. For, you said you like this. Uh, I, I love this. You always get me the right guests from the Hobbit. <laughs> I'm on fire. Yeah. Uh, last year, I think you got me a mushroom log, which literally was in my garage at the time. The year prior, <laughs> you got me that flap of fabric for carrying. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Firewood. firewood. I also, yeah. I've been thinking about that ever since. I was like, man, I would love to have a firewood log bag. <laughs> I also got you, um, a remote control like boat that helps you catch fish the See? one time. That's that was right. very expensive. I know. Yeah. And then, you, and then this, which I'm sure is in my mother-in-law's house. I'm like, are you sure that said Linda or that's <laughs> I've seen this clock. Uh, I've seen this clock, and uh, I mean, it's a shame there's no Junko on there, my favorite winter uh, oh. bird, but the Northern Cardinal, an absolute <laughs> beauty. Man, how much could this cost, though? It's got to last for at least 25, 25 years. You know, can, I'm going to tell you something. Um, I'm going to give you a, a little hint here. Okay. And, and I almost feel bad doing this because uh, you're going to have to wait for this gift. This item sold out. Oh. This is a big time. This is big. This is a big, big item. People love it's it. It's a hot item. Must be affordable enough that you're like, yeah, yeah. That, bird, exactly. Bird my life yeah. love that. I wanted to give you that hint. Exactly, Trey. This, I mean, this is the Tickle Me Elmo of the <laughs> Hamacher Slumber catalog. <laughs> Everybody wants the serenading songbird wall clock. So The Tweet Me Bird of uh, <laughs> adult <laughs> gifts. Uh, $49.95. $49.95. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. I love that the, the Blue Jay is at 3 o'clock and the Cardinal at 9 o'clock. <laughs> Only the best. They're looking at oh, each other, the staring each other down. 
the Blue Jay, not the not the prettiest song, you know. Like it's more of a squawk. The Blue Jay. It's can like you give a, me a? It's like wah. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Wah 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 wah. When we were sound editing, like if it was a winter scene, you always put a Blue Jay in there because it's a winter bird. And it's mm. always like in the background. Wah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say I'm going cheaper on this. I, I think it's uh, it's sold out. It's a bargain. It's There's not much to it other than the bird song and the sensor. Yep. That's that's pretty big. <laughs> it's a clock otherwise. I'm going to say twenty nine ninety five. Okay. Well, this is a, this is an absolute Christmas miracle. Trey Kirby has once again done it. Wow. $49.95. You got two absolutely <laughs> bang on this year. You're you're learning. You're listening. It's great. I'm becoming clever. <laughs> you are the Hamaka. There it is. It feels like everybody was pretty happy with their guests. Well, oh I'd yeah. Love to hear from yeah, Tass and Ash. I think Jerome's absolutely. already commenting here in Slack that he's pumped with the uh, weird mirror. <laughs> Uh, great stuff, great stuff. So there it is. Thank you. Uh, well, not really. Thank you to the Hamaker Slam, a Hamaker Slam catalog. I would like to have it in my hands next year. So yeah. come on, reach out to me. You know what? You know how you can make it up to me. Send me one of those gifts. You know, one of the, the mirror. Send me. Send you know the, what? Send me send all five of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> except, well, except the song clock, I guess. Wait for that one for the new year. Yeah, was, uh, every every day we uh, at eleven o'clock. Two more minutes from now. What was the eleven o'clock bird? <laughs> I forget what that one Hello. was. Hmm. <laughs> you want to go back to it? Let's have yeah, a look. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, the, the white breasted uh, nut hatch. The uh, white breasted nut hatch goes off at every eleven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> what's the, well? So what's uh what's the one at ten there? You guys have better eyesight than I do. Uh, that's a white throated sparrow. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, sparrows. A, Stupid bird. Oh, one of the worst birds. Oh, well, that's the that's the no dunks bird. Ten o'clock. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's sparrow time. <laughs> yeah. 